Don't miss the debut of CNN's new series, The Wonder List, with Bill Weir. Bill and filmmaker Philip Bloom travel the world to tell the untold stories of really extraordinary people, places, and cultures. In the first episode, they take us to Vanuatu, an island nation in the South Pacific where you can get extremely close to a live volcano. It's amazing. Take a look. Behold Mount Yasser, one of the most accessible live volcanoes anywhere in the world. The whole of Tana is based around uh, the daily and the nightly eruptions, which occasionally we're hearing as we're climbing up here now. Yeah. Walking up into the heavens. It's so surreal to come out of this lush, thick, green jungle and then find a moonscape. And as you get closer, hear these percussive booms and then stand here. Oh. That is cool. Uh, Bill Weir and Philip Bloom uh, join me now. Just incredible. I mean, this, the visuals, everything about it. I explain the idea behind it, because you're really traveling to a lot of incredibly remote places. Yeah, yeah. The, the idea basically was I looked at my 10-year-old girl one day and thought, you know, she's going to turn my age in 2050. And I wonder, will there still be wild tigers in India mm -hmm. at that time? Well, how many species will go extinct in Galapagos? Will the Dead Sea still be accessible, it's shrinking at an alarming rate. And for this episode, I wondered if there's still a, a Hawaii without hotels out there, mm. you know, a, a Bali before burger joints. And we found this one amazing place, this country Vanuatu, uh, that was such a great t test study in values, you know. They, some tribes can't wait for tourists to arrive. They mm. want hotels on their islands. They're willing to give up their lives as fishermen or whatnot. Others, uh, like the tribe that lives on the volcano, doesn't want any part of the modern world. They actually worship that as a god, and they think, you know, trudging up there was is disrespectful. Uh, so, and of course, they're low-lying islands, so they're worried about climate change as well. But just fascinating people. And, and we got to these places, and in the middle of nowhere, the cell phone signal was stronger than is that Manhattan. Right? Yeah. I mean, I look at some of those images, Philip, and I think of, like, you know, uh, David Lean and T.E. Lawrence. I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful images. You guys had like a small, hardy crew. How did you get, we're using drones? In the yeah, in Vanuatu we used uh, a drone. We didn't use them very much in, in the show because it's difficult to use them in many countries because it's so dis disorganized right now in regulations. Right. Uh, but in, in Vanuatu, it's, you know, there's incredible landscape that was just perfect for it, and of course the volcano. I mean, we worked a very small crew. We had way too much gear. <laughs> way, way, way too. I mean, I was, I was checking in with like eight And he bags. never carries any gear. For <laughs> he was, I did, the moment that I turned up, the first one we did was Ikri Ingri. And I turned up, and you just saw all of these cases. And you, yeah. this was the start, and you this didn't quite realize. And we had to get it on a ferry to get to Ikaria, and it was up equipment to like five flights of stairs, yeah. all uh, of these cases. 17 bags, but I'd been a fan. I'm a camera nerd. Philip is very generous with his knowledge on his, on his website. Right, you're taking, I mean, I see you with the camera yeah, a lot, too. Yeah, I took, I took thousands of still photos and learned so much from him. But I, what I didn't realize, I said, I want your look. I want to go around and capture these amazing places in the most cinematic way possible. And you really do get a sense of how quickly the world is changing. Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere you go. I mean, you can hear from a climatologist that the... Alps are going, you know, the glaciers are melting in the Alps, but you go up and talk to extreme skiers who know that ice better than anything, or fishermen in Vanuatu, or uh, game wardens in the jungles of India, and it, it, it really makes you realize how all of our little decisions in our lives add up to big seismic changes. Mm. It just it looks incredible. I'm so excited to see it. Uh, and it's great to have you back, Phil. Nice to see you. And Philip, great to meet you. you. Congratulations. Just incredible work. A remarkable journey. The Wonder List debuts this Sunday, 10 p.m. here on CNN. I urge you to watch it.